Gemins, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to do another bath bomb. And today's scent is cake batter ice cream. Yum. It smells just like a cake batter ice cream. And I don't know if you, if growing up, if you remember eating uh, your ice cream and your birthday cake or your or cake and ice cream, but that's pretty much what the scent is. It's a vanilla scent. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in my house right now because we've got the, it's open and it's fragrant and it's, oh, it's so yum. It makes me want to go bake a cake and have some ice cream later. So I think I probably will do that. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. It's, I don't get to baking very much. I'm so busy with other things. But anyway, back to this. <laughs> um, so today we're going to do that. And in my bucket, I already have the SLSA. So let me turn this down. We'll show you the mold. There you go. So we are going to sift together our ingredients. And in our bucket, we will have baking powder or bake, yeah, baking powder baking soda, excuse me, citric acid and cornstarch are main ingredients. You can substitute uh, arrowroot or cream of tartar if you wish, if you don't want to have the, if you don't wish to have the cornstarch. Some people don't like cornstarch. I do. Um, I, personally, I've used the others and I think cornstarch binds the best but in the bath bombs, but that's my preference. Everybody's different. All right, there's not that much there, so we'll just get that out of the way. All right, so we are going to do, this is a Snow White by Mad Micah's. We're going to add that as our base. I know this is white already, but I wanted to whiten it up. Uh, I wanted to make sure that it stayed the white. Let me show you here. And it has a little bit of a glitter pearl to it, which makes it really nice. There you go. All right, and then we're going to use this ice cream mold, so it's really cool. I cannot wait to get this done. All right, so let's mix this up. All right, let's get our scent in our little container here. I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. Set that there. Hopefully that won't fall over. Ooh, wet. All right. Dry off my pipette. Cleaned out my pipette and I was a little on the wet side this morning. Okay, so there's our fragrance. And this is the fragrance if you're interested in it from Crafter's Choice. I absolutely love this scent, it's beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna add water. I don't normally add water to my bath stuff, but in this recipe it does work, so we do add it. And I'm going to add more. Put that there. And then a little bit of our hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil is really good for you. It's filled with vitamins and minerals. This bath, this hemp seed oil is safe for infants on up. These bath bombs, however, are only safe for three-year-olds and up, so please do not give it to your younger kids unless they will are at an age where they're not going to put stuff in their mouths. And I had I had a little boy. He came up and he saw a bath bomb. He says, "Mommy, can you buy me a bath bomb? I really want to get a bath." Bomb. And she said, sure. And I had to ask her, I said, well, does he keep his fingers out of his mouth now? And she says, yeah, for the most part. And I said, well, there you go. You can definitely purchase these because that's what they're for. All right. Now, my debate was, do I add my, it'll come right off. It'll mix in here in a minute. My debate today was, do I add these really cool sprinkles you see here into this or do I add it on top? And I decided that I wanted to add it on top for the sprinkles on top of the ice cream because kids love sprinkles. I don't know what it is, but they do. All right, so let's mix this up and get it all put together here. Wow, my house is just so dry. Can't get anything to work this morning. So I'm adding a whole lot of polysorbate 80 to my mix, not water, polysorbate 80. Get the 
so it really makes sense. Yes, today I'm wearing gloves. I have a cut on my finger and I couldn't keep the band-aid off, so I said, you know what? For safety purposes, I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on today for this demo. Even though this is a demo product and it will never be sold, um, I will, the, uh, the new ones I make will definitely be... The new ones that I make will definitely have the um, PPE. Um, you've seen in my other videos, I don't normally wear gloves, but I'm wearing gloves today. My cut is an open wound. It does not bleeding, but I still don't want to get, I don't want to get um, this contaminated with body, bodily fluids. If I should, if it was, since it's an open wound and if I get enough of this in there, it'll make it really irritated and it could start bleeding, which would damage this batter and I don't want to do that. So we're not going to do it. We're going to go on the safety caution and we are going to do exactly what I'm doing. All right, so our center is going to be this really pretty yellow um, and we are going to go ahead and fill this up now. There we go. Put this on top. Now there's a lot of things you can do with these bath, bomb, bath bombs. You can paint them if you want to. I don't like painting my bath bombs personally. I just don't have, I honestly don't have the time to do it. It does take a lot of time to do it. If I was doing this for a friend who had like a birthday party or something, I would probably paint something on here like the lines on the cone. But on this one, I'm not going to do that. We're going to do something a little bit different. Yeah, the rest of that, there's not that much in there. All right, so on the top, Top part of this, we are going to add these really cute little sprinkles. Get up there. These are candy sprinkles. And this is a kid's bath bomb, so I thought this would be very appropriate for the kids. I gotta move that bucket out of the way for a second. Put this down. And you'll see why when I'm done here. That is if I can get this in. There we go. All right, so now we're going to press this down as hard as we possibly can. And seal this up while that's sitting there. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Uh, the air will dry it out, so. And as you can see, I have this whole big bag of candy sprinkles. Um, I purchased these online it and got a really good price for them they're just basic sugar candy uh, sprinkles there's nothing special to them I think it's sugar and sugar and colorant that's about all they are so that's really cool all right did that go in there it did. yeah it did all right so now I'm going to turn it upside down is that not wanting to go down there? hold on a second Oh, it is in there. My mold felt weird. And we're going to press this down really, really hard. <sighs> All right. Now, this one doesn't look like it needs to be tapped. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. All right. So before we pull this out, we're going to pull this down if we can. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. This time it's going to work. There we go. And that corner broke a little bit. We're going to repair that. Okay. Very carefully pick this up. We're going to turn it upside down. Okay. Plunge this out. Oh, it came right off. Here we go. 
All right. There is our bath bomb. There you go. Ice cream bath bomb. All right. So there you go, folks. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I so love that. It's adorable. All right. Thank you everybody for joining me today. I truly appreciate you all. You can get these bath bombs now on the website. Just go to gemmins.com and look up the cake bath bomb. It should be the first one on the page. Uh, unless I have placed it with something else, it should be there. <coughs> Here's our bath bomb of the month. I do change them out every week, so if it's not there, just go into the bath bombs and look up the cake batter one or the ice cream one and it'll be there. So anyway, thank you everybody for joining me. I truly appreciate you all and you all have a great day. Uh, these bath bombs, like I said, are ready. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button and don't forget to leave a comment down below. And if you have any questions or requests, please ask. I'm always here for you guys. Thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>